literally the second that Zane just put his, you know, you can go now finger, I was like, oh no, that swig of Coca-Cola that I have uh. has come back to bite me in the throat. Um, it's Liz. Welcome to Ghost of <laughs> Boyfriend's Past. Um, we, I drank too much Coke and now I'm burping into my microphone. I'm here with Tom Harris. Yes, just uh, quietly sitting here amused at that. what's going on. Hello, yeah, one. Hello, all. Thank you for joining us here on the, on the, on the show. It's, Lovely to have you as always. Squeaky time. Yes. It's squeaky time. That's yes. where we get into your, it. Your, right ma- your mandatory weekly st- uh, quickie. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, you know, it's, it's you wait all week and then you get a nice little quickie and it's like, hmm. Nice, and then you go on with the rest of your day. Mm. That's the benefit of these little short episodes. So let me get right into it. Tom. Yes. The Barbie movie. Yes. Now, I know you've not seen it. No, I have not. Not and, yet. And I think you'd actually really enjoy it. Yes. I, why but I, I came across a story on HuffPost mm. uh, with the headline, The Barbie Movie is Ending Relationships Left and Right. And okay. I... Love that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of read through little bits of this story, not be any spoilery because I don't want – like if if you have not had – the enjoyment of going to see the film and you are interested in it, I don't want to to spoil it for you. Um, So is this – And it opens with the line, come on, Barbie, let's go break up with our boyfriends. Yes. (laughs) Can I hazard a guess that this is – Women breaking up with men after seeing the, uh, this, this film, and the men being like, "This is woke nonsense, well, trash." Bit, and but then they- also, also here anyway. I'm just spitballing off the top, but please go. Uh, it says more than a week after the release of the Barbie movie, social media is full of stories of women who say they deeply reconsidered their relationships after seeing the film. In on Reddit, someone posted, "Am I the asshole for breaking up with my boyfriend over the Barbie movie?" Um, and she shared the story of how her boyfriend complained to her about the movie's feminist themes after they left the showing. Mm, mm. Um, on TikTok, another uh, woman said the Mattel movie inspired her to break up with her boyfriend after a string of bad behaviour on his part. Thank you, Barbie, for empowering me, for giving me the confidence and for making me realise I deserve better, she says. This one I love. This is a... a <sighs> Don't want to call it X. It's Twitter. It's still Twitter to me. I'm not oh, calling it, it X. Fuck him. It's yeah. Twitter. Fuck that fuck guy. That guy. Yeah. Fuck that billionaire. Yes. Fuck him. I he love had, it. He yeah. gave forty four billion dollars to buy Twitter, and he's still not broke. He's still not close. Thank he's you. still yes. He's still millionaires are closer to my <laughs> to my way depth than to billionaires. Why the fuck do we care? <laughs> I that love ed- that so hard. Everything you did, <laughs> SpaceX, the Tesla X. You, it's not 1994. <laughs> we're not. We're past this. Fucker. Oh my god, the but veins. Tom, he had the URL. <laughs> the veins just popped out on Tom's neck oh so much, and god. it was so wonderful to witness someone going. So yes, yeah, so let's on go, Barbie, Barbie Mutant, Barbie movie, Come Twitter. On. Um, someone posted, "Did anyone else watch Barbie and suddenly want to break up with their boyfriend, or was that just me? Are you crying?" He said, you're just a guy and you'll never understand how difficult it is to be a woman in a man's world and there is attention to detail that a lot of men do not have. Somebody else said, um, uh, talking about their boyfriend, I'm trying to avoid the spoilers here, he's a good guy, but we were having issues before seeing the movie and their lived experiences are pretty different and the Barbie movie just highlighted how differently they view the world. I was so invested in the movie that I didn't even recognise how he was perceiving it until he turned to me and said, are you crying two or three times through the movie? Like, and if you see it, like, it's, it's, it's not your kid's toy movie. It's for people who used to play with Barbies and are now having a real hard time being a woman in a modern world. Mm. And even if you don't agree with what the movie is saying, to invalidate somebody else's experience is just a real shitty thing to yep, do. I agree. That's all I have to say. But I, I kind of and, – and this woman ended up actually – breaking up with her boyfriend so we amicably came together to realize that we're just not on the same wavelength and it took the barbie movie for me to realize that i just i just love it it says barbie helped me graduate out of a cycle of overextending myself into spaces or around people that i don't truly resonate with and to get myself back to discovering what i want out of life and then women are sharing how they plan to use the what did you think of barbie as a litmus test for dating on apps she said it should be noted that plenty of men pass the test easily, dressing up in pink to go see the movie or sympathising with their girlfriends. And if you go with it's a guy that says, Ken did nothing wrong, the patriarchy is good, then you need to get rid of him. Fair, fair enough. It's a, it seems to be a pretty decent litmus test. It baffles and boggles my mind that in the that 
two movies come out. One about the at a fucking atomic bomb and one about a Barbie doll. And the Barbie doll film is the more con- controversial, the bigger talking point. The one that's like, the one that, that everyone's stare, staring at going, hmm, and far, and sure, there's great talking points in it. But it, what? who gives a shit? <laughs> Guys, Angry Tom is my favourite Tom. <laughs> Holy crap. Like, Barbie dolls, right? They're yeah. Just a, it's a fit. Yeah. And, and yeah. Sure, and they've been, for better or worse, some good, some bad, throughout the history, have tried to help women, right? They've tr- the, the product has, tri- has, in some cases, tried to empower women, to try and to look, show sometimes them. sometimes it made us feel like yes, shit, yes, let's be honest. Yes, sometimes it did, and sometimes there's body proportionate like shit, when, and there's beauty shit like in it. Like when men were in charge, and they decided that grown-up Skipper would be a good idea, which was a doll that when you wound her arm backwards, her tits grew bigger. Yes. That was what happened when men became in charge of Barbie after the women that's left. That's right, but in general, she this, this Barbie doll has been a, she can, she's a, a, g- a girl, a woman who can grow up and be whatever she she wants, right? Mm-hmm. And that's been a message, the message for Barbie so, for fifty years, yeah. hasn't it? Sixty years, it's, it's such a long time since so, nineteen fifty nine. So inevitably, when the, a movie gets made about it, it's gonna echo some of those themes, right? It's yeah. gonna carry or some of that energy. It can't be a sh- it can't be a shock. And if you're fi- if you're riling against this, if you're fighting it. If you're fighting wokeness or equality, anything, have a what the fuck are you doing? Have a look at your <laughs> please, please ask yourself some questions. Why am I mad about this? It's baffling to me. I am just baffled. I'm not speechless, clearly, but I'm baffled. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I'm uh, into it. Are we doing what is this? A show? This I'm is all a show. <laughs> Give us a story, okay? I'm done with the Barbie I've got, movie. Okay, now. I've got I've got some little sex stories for you. Uh, well, hookup stories. Here's a good, here's a good one. All right. Oh boy, it was my first hookup. We were making out on the couch, and after a while, he asked me if I wanted to go into the bedroom. Oh yeah. I said yes, but then he led me into his parents' bedroom. Oh. I'm going to have to ask you to hold your um, noises and grunts till the end, please, there, Elizabeth. I remember him saying he'd just always wanted to hook up on his parents' bed and they were out of town so we wouldn't get caught. I just went with it, even though it was super weird looking at the tons of family pictures on the wall where we're getting it on. No! I gave my first blowjob and handjob on the bed of some couple who had come back from vacation, fallen to bed and have no idea what happened in it a few days earlier. I really hope he changed the sheets. Oh. Questions, thoughts, concerns? I just All of the above. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't. don't. I don't. Like, I don't have like, to know. That's the beauty of like it. Like, there's one part of me that's like, maybe it's the thrill of doing something you shouldn't, but maybe have that doing something you shouldn't not involve your parents. Yes, <laughs> seems to be in pretty any good way, advice. shape, or form. This is a minute. This is a stories driven <laughs> quickie, so we don't have to give answers. Absolutely we should, we not. can just speculate all you want. But yes, a real chin scratcher, real no. chin scratcher. That one. Another one. Here we go. This one's a bit of fun. Back in college, when I lived in the dorms and my boyfriend lived in a house with several roommates, we struggled to find a place to have sex alone. Yeah. Naturally, that led to us laying out a bunch of blankets on the roof of his garage and having sex up on the roof under under the stars. Hope it's not a sloped roof. That would be (laughs) awkward and painful. It was the middle of the night and we figured no one would be walking by in our small town, so it weirdly satisfied our public sex kink while also being more private than our bedrooms. Mm -hmm. But of course, one Mm. of his roommates stumbled home very intoxicated while we were up there, (laughs) startling us as he walked by the garage. We froze and he looked around, clearly (laughs) having heard something, but confused as to where it was coming from. He shrugged and proceeded to take a pee on the side of the garage while we were perched naked above him. (laughs) He then went inside and we got on with our night. The next day, he informed us that he thought raccoons or some other animals were living in the roof of the garage. And we victoriously informed him that we were the animals. (laughs) Full stop. Zane's pulled down his microphone. At least they owned it. Like, okay, but like... (laughs) We couldn't find anywhere private, so we went to a really, a really public, public place, place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and hoped that no one would see. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have to get. I don't well, have to no justify myself. Just heard and thought it was raccoons. 
Yes, there you go. Some fun little snacky hookup uh, stories there for you. You've been good readers. You've had to deal with a lot of anger from me this today. I'm so sorry about <laughs> oh, that. Brilliant. And I think on that note that that's enough for this quickie. I think we have done a good discussion discussing, you know, Barbie movie and Oppenheimer and, and fucking on the roof of a garage. I think that's a good spread of, of conversation. Uh, it'll, be, it'll probably be too late by now, but... Pay money, go give money to Oppenheimer, give money to Barbie. It's at a moment in theatre where two non sequels, non, uh, non, like, non. Uh, I mean, to be fair, Barbie is IP. But yes, but it's, it's a an brand, original it's a brand, story. They're both brand new stories. It's not a fucking Marvel film for once in my life. Yes. So, uh, so very good. Give them money, give it support. Good. Yes. And if you have had a reaction to someone in your life to the Barbie movie, if somebody has either really loved it and it's changed their life or they have hated it and you have snip snipped them out of your life, please let us know. Yes. I would love yes. to hear stories about when you hear what people think about that film, what's it made you do? Yes. Anything to do. Just tell us any story about the Barbie movie. Fuck, mm. tell me what you wore. <laughs> Send me your costumes and outfits. I wore the pinkest pink dress ever because yeah, I went to the premiere of it. So oh. I had sparkly oh. sneakers and a big frilly pink dress and I was a feeling myself that night and I loved the fact that I was not scared of being overdressed for the first time in my life because even if nobody else dressed up I was on theme and I felt fucking yeah, great about yeah, it. Yeah girl get it. Amazing. Alright until then thank you so much for joining us on another quickie. Send us all of your stories and um, go, go see a movie at the cinema this mm. week. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha